he just ruined his front splitter. Skyline is leaving. <laughs> I could be the next Stradman. 6.30 a.m. Right now we are at our local Cars and Coffee. Let's go take a look at those cars. Let's be real here. Most of y'all clicked on the video because of the 1900 horsepower Viper and R8 with twin turp skis. So for y'all's convenience, if you just want to see the craziest parts of the video, it starts right here. I recommend watching the whole video though because it, it was insane. <laughs> C6 Corvette and a C7 Corvette Z06. Corvette C7 Grand Sport coming in. Ooh, look what we have right here, a Cadillac CTS V. We got a clamshell hood right here. We got a naturally aspirated V8. This looks so much different from the new C8 Corvette. That's a pretty loud Fiat. I can hear the turbo whistle of it. It's right hand drive, it has a Momo steering wheel. Look at that exhaust down there. We got a Range Rover, a pretty casual Range Rover next to this amazing Hellcat. 707 horsepower. <laughs> Looks like it's an aftermarket intake. We got that big supercharger right there. These light setup is crazy. So there's all these cars over here and then there's just this casual Tesla that looks like it's parked on the road. Now I know this next car is a Camaro, but it's a pretty good looking Camaro. You can't lie about that. It has all these black accents everywhere. Got an old Porsche 911 Turbo S. Now this Fiat over here, it's actually really loud. If I describe it in three words, tiny but mighty. Another shot of this Miata over here. Oh, look at that. We got a roll cage in it. We got a Momo steering wheel inside there. Woo! This is such a cool car. Oh, and look at that gauge. <laughs> He's staring at it. Oh! Oh, oh, I feel kind of bad for that guy. He just ruined his front splitter. Nissan Skyline GTR. Look at that. Over here, we got a Porsche 914. When I first saw one of these cars, I thought the front was actually the back. Right here, we have a really old Porsche 911 Carrera. There's actually two replicas of Shelby Cobras. Here's one of them. It's one of the most simple designs, but it's also one of the most beautiful. Look at those aftermarket taillights. Now here's a Ferrari 512 TR. I didn't really get to take a look at this earlier. We got the engine in the back, manual transmission. This interior, I cannot get over how, how beautiful it is. Pretty old Porsche, but it still looks good. That color is sick. We have another racer. We got a new front bumper. We got new rims, new tires, Sparco steering wheel, Sparco seats. We got a roll cage in there. And inside there, what looks like nitrous and a carbon fiber wing. What I think is a BMW M3 that's rolling in. Now look at this roof over here. Now this thing definitely has air suspension. When it was rolling in, I could see it definitely lifted up. Ooh, we got a six speed manual. Check out this Toyota MR2. That's sick. We got vents everywhere. Look at the engine back here. I haven't even mentioned this Porsche over here. Take a look at it. It has full rally lights everywhere. Those white rims look sick. Now look at all these decals. We got aftermarket seats. Those seats are so tight looking. We got another Cobra. Oh my gosh, look up inside the hood. A Cobra on top of the engine of a Cobra. That's really sick. Here is the Ferrari 575 Marinello. This car is not a manual transmission, it is paddle shift. You can kind of see the paddles up there on the steering wheel. Here we got a Honda Civic Type R. This gray looks super good. Look at those back tires. <laughs> Student Drifter. Look at those rims with the wheel spikes. Chevy Camaro ZL1. This is not the 1LE. The 1LE actually has a front splitter and a big old wing. What this place is right here is where the supercharger is. So this is a supercharged V8. <laughs> Not expecting that, especially from a car like that. Z06 supercharged. So up here we got a supercharged V8. Makes about 650 horsepower. And this one is extremely modified. It's definitely an aftermarket exhaust. Look at these thick, thick tires. That's how you know this thing is not messing around. The Skyline is leaving. <laughs> Listen to that turbo. Oh! You can definitely hear the turbo. This is one of the loudest Camaros I've ever heard in my entire life. Woo! Nothing like the fresh noise of a V8 Camaro in the morning. Yes! Oh, listen.
position that supercharger. The supercar has arrived. Audi R8 V10 Plus. Yes, sir. Listen to that V10. Look at that aftermarket wing on it. That looks so good. That is definitely twin turboed. Oh, there's the turbo. We got twin turb skis on this thing. Last car show that Carter was in here. I've gotten to sit inside of an Audi R8 RWS. I was the only kid in the car show started up. So I actually got to talk to the owner. He said this thing makes 850 wheel horsepower, instantly twin turbo, a naturally aspirated V10 from a Huracan. You get instantaneous power and the power is gigantic. Look at the engine of this Ferrari 575 Marinello. Look at that. Oh, there's a Viper? Yes. There's literally nobody on that side anymore. Everybody is on this side over here. Man, the front of the Type R is just so cool looking. Look at this. We have a Lotus Evora. The Ferrari 575 is leaving. disappointing now these things have very reliable engines because you know why they are toyota engines this thing is a manual transmission car six speed man lotus you killed it with the avora rip to the naturally aspirated v8 ferraris Viper has arrived. We have a purple Dodge Viper ACR. Man. We just talked to the owner and this Dodge Viper right here makes 1900 horsepower. Oh my gosh, I did not know these things have this much potential. We saw this Dodge Viper at a gas station one time. This is so sick. Take a look at the Dodge Viper ACR. Look at that diffuser down here. Is it um twin turbo? Mm -hmm. Oh, twin turbo with a nine liter stroker. We got in front what I think is an eight point four liter V ten. It matches the purple exterior paint even on the accents inside the engine. That is so sick. Everything is revealed by this giant clamshell hood over here. You can even see parts of the suspension, the tires. This is the last of the Dodge Viper. Hopefully someday Dodge will bring it back. Let us just witness the last of the Dodge Viper. God bless America. God bless Dodge Viper. Take a look at this car show from the beginning it was insane now look at it it is just plain and dead over here i think we're gonna get a start up it's gonna be loud 1900 ponies inside that ended you can hear them. i could feel the exhaust blow my legs oh my god Twin turbo V10 cars in here. This, and there we go. Oh yeah. Say goodbye to the Lotus Evora. The car show is done. Thank you. So when the guy revved his Dodge Viper, I could literally feel all the exhaust and bits coming down on my legs. Oh my gosh. We are all sweaty pigs. Bye. All right, we're back at our house. All right, guys, remember that guy with the WRX SCI that was blue who just revved it? Well, yeah, he was super nice. We were just talking, okay, about car stuff. And then next thing you know, he says one of the coolest things that I've ever been told. He said, I could be the next Strad man. Let that sink in for a minute. That was one crazy car show. A twin turbo Dodge Viper, a twin turbo Audi R8, an insane amount of modified cars. But anyway, we're out in three, two, one.
Oh, my God.